Howdy y'all, this is Twitchonium here. Today I'm coming at y'all with another March of the Machine premiere draft. Gonna go ahead and get right on into it. I'll see y'all in the draft. Alrighty, here we are on pack one, pick one, and we have opened up Hiritsugu and Kairi. Draw three, two on top, and then deal damage to a person. Still, a flying 5-4 seems pretty great. It does try to put us into two colors right away. Thalid's a pretty great two drop. Moloch's a good three drop. Raph can be right, good in the right deck. Invasion seems pretty good. Gloomfang, Mauler is solid. Dispersal is solid. Thespian's great. I'm fine to just take the cool, cool rare though, I think. We might ditch it, but it's definitely the most powerful card in the pack. I mean, five mana, five, four flyer. Just the body by itself is nice. Drawing you cards is just gravy on top. Alright, now we have some cool black cards and blue cards here. Let's see what the invasion does. Makes the opponent discard two and then gives us a 2-2 two, two flyer that deals two damage to them periodically. I mean, that seems good. Not amazing, but okay. I mean, Vanquish the Weak is what we're going to hover because that's just strong. We've also got the Convoke Counter Spell and Card Draw Spell. A nice two drop bounce spell and a Knight card. If we're taking a Knight card though, I think I'd rather take the Marshal. But that's a little far off from the Hidetsugu. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Vanquish the Weak, I think. We could also take the Skittering Surveyor here as another option that's gonna make any deck we play, but Vanquish is a strong removal spell. Because it's power based and not CMC based. Yeah. Invasion does tempt me a little bit, though. I'm probably overly fond of these battles than I should be, but we'll see. I'm going to take the removal spell. All right, and now we have got a bunch of black-white cards, which is interesting. Furia can be pretty good if you got a pretty uh, low curve. We already saw the invasion. Especially if we can get like a, a treasure token or something to sack for this, that's pretty great. This is a solid 2-drop though. Might just be supposed to take that. Could also take the counter spell. What's Corruption do again? Incubate 4. This actually doesn't seem terrible. Although we don't have anything that transforms yet. Blue has a fair amount of transforming stuff, and we are likely to pick up a, a battle or two along the way, so I could see picking this guy up. Worst case, it's like a 4-4. Four, four. Right now, this is a tough one, because Thalia can be really strong, especially if we end up like getting a Quende to go with her. But she does hit you as well. Invasion doesn't seem bad. But I'd like to try to stick to blue-black if we can here. And Captive Weird is just a solid one-drop. Like, this is a one-drop I'm fine to play, because more or less you're always going to flip it over and get the card draw, and then it's just a 3-3, which is a great stat line. Cleansing is another solid removal spell on blue. But I'm going to take the Weird. No reason to ditch our plan if we don't need to. What does this one do? Oh, right, this is the Phyrexian card. I mean, it's still kind of like a 2-mana 3-3 three, three that surveils you one, which is pretty good. I mean, Informant and Familiar are both great little, you know, filler 2 and 3 drops, but I think this is a, a cool thing we could try out. That also seems like a pretty sweet battle, too. Like, even if you, own, you never flip it, that's still scry 3 and then draw a card. But we'll stick to this. Now we've got a preening champion, which is excellent in any blue deck. Especially the convoke decks, but three mana for th two bodies, one of which is a 2-2 two -two flyer. Invasion of Alara is pretty cool too, but I think we're pretty far away from that. Yeah. Really good black options as well, but I think the on-color good flyer is the way to go wow there's a pick seven vanquish the week that feels like black is going to be pretty open i would even take this battle fan too honestly 
And there's like three we've seen that could come around here, which is nice. I would definitely play a uh, Oculus Whelp as well, especially if we can get a couple of Transform cards in the deck. Geoderm is excellent as well. I keep forgetting that it's any time you attack, it doesn't have to be the actual Geoderm to get the, the trigger. Wow, okay, so blue-black appears to be pretty open, which I'm, I'm pretty happy about. The Aerialist is another awesome two-drop, another flyer as well, so let's see, how much flying do we have? One... I guess only two so far, but still. Blue is likely to keep us getting a bunch of uh, flyers anyways. We wield the Thalid, the Dispersal, the Mauler, an abundance of riches here. I think a good two-drop is probably the best first thing to take. Because a lot of the time this guy's really just going to be a, a Swamp Cycler anyways. And we already have two Vanquish the Weak, so I don't think we need to take a Bounce spell that highly. Take the Uncommon 2-drop. Do we have any Knights? We have one Knight. I think Alabaster Host is still solid. Probably better than the, the Refusal in our deck. Transform into a, a nice 3-3 three, three that can attack into slightly stronger creatures. Makes for some awkward combat on the uh, opponent's side. And if we get any like incidental knight synergies, that'll be cool to have. Overall, though, I'm really liking the shape this deck is taking so far. Every 2-drop we have is like a premium 2-drop. We've got a great 1-drop even that's kind of like a 3-3. Three, three. Draws us a card. Sick removal starting off. Yeah, just I'm pretty happy. Like Corruption of Tawashi, I feel like, is our worst card so far. Now, I'm just going to take a, a dual land in case we open up a uh, red bomb we want to splash. We might play a kite seal, you never know. Uh, I'll definitely take a familiar. I'll play that at, at three. Just drains the opponent when it dies. Has good power for attacks. Mode is engaged. And the Wow, another Corruption of Tawashi. Okay. Don't know that we're playing the first one, but we'll take it. Awesome. And we open up a sweet two-drop rare here. Not necessarily going to benefit off of it all that much, but it you know we can activate it to make them draw an extra card or ourselves. And I mean, just a 2-1 two, two flyer for two is already great with Flash that can draw cards. Just overall, excellent card. Deadly Derision, another cool card. Definitely would play a copy of it, but can't say no to the uh, the rare. What else is in here? Scald, good for the red aggressive decks. Muraganda has played kind of poorly for me. I'm sure it's it's right in the right setup, but hasn't been my favorite. Skyline seems fine. Dina's awesome in the right deck. Uh, Cosmic Hunger is excellent. This guy's great at attacking battles. It's pretty much guaranteed to either kill two things or the battle if you get to swing at a battle. And Blade Master is a fine two drop in black. Not quite sure how we timed out, and it still hasn't passed us a thing yet. It seems interesting. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Invasion of Veru? Or Vryn? Draw three? Seems sweet. We have lots of flyers to get in on it. I would definitely play a negate in this deck, but I don't need to take that over a sweet uncommon uh, battle here. It does make me want to uh, value instants and sorceries a little more highly. Oh, never mind. That's actually that just says copy target spell. That doesn't even say copy instant or sorcery. Nice. So yeah. What would be a cool permanent to copy? I mean, Preening Champion, Gift of Completion, I guess, doesn't really do much. I guess it would make them surveil, surveil two when they die. Another Thalid would be cool. Aerialist, I mean, we just have good stuff. Anything we can copy is good. All right. This is the uh, Vigilant Knight that can create more knights. There's also another Preening Champion, though, which might just be better. Because it's still a 2-2 flyer that also comes with another body. There's also Render Inert, which is interesting. It can just like take all the counters off of one of the, the tokens or the, the battles and draw a card, but I don't think we need that kind of removal. 
as highly. Like, I'd rather just get another 3-drop that's super awesome. Although this did go late last time. Maybe I'm supposed to take the uncommon one first and then see if this wheels. And it's not like it's that much weaker and we already have one preening champion. Yeah, I'm going to take the knight. That might be the wrong call there, but... If we get to even make one extra knight with this guy during a game, he's already given us extra value over the, the champion. Hmm. Now we have some good options. We've got Eye of Gataxias, which is just card draw in a body in one, which is always cool. Stasis Field is a uh, pretty good removal in blue, though. Yeah, and it's a two drop, and I could see just keeping the curve as low as possible here. This is a one drop I would play, but still not a very exciting one. All right, now we can take another excellent uh, premium two drop here, or we can take the blue island cycler, which I like all of these big cycling creatures because they're always going to be useful either cycle them to get a land or play a huge old honking thing. And I guess most of these are permanents even, but I think we can still get one more solid two drop before we worry about picking up things like that. Another vanquish the week, definitely we'll take that. Yeah, we don't need the uh, counter spell yet. Like I said earlier, I'd play a counter spell, but uh, van vanquishes are just awesome. We could potentially splash this invasion as well. But I don't think we have enough artifacts to really make that that great for us. And now a bunch more options as well. What does this one do? Convoke, tap two, and stun them. Yeah, I don't think we need that kind of effect. I think we either take the big old Convoke Flyer for the top end or the Tidal Terror for the top end. Normally I would snatch up this Agent, but like we're already doing great on two drops. I think I'd rather just keep the flying going. Now we can take the top end Exile based removal just to make sure we have access to that kind of effect. Again, I would play a counter spell, but not over this kind of removal. I haven't tried out this Aetherborn yet. Two two lifelinkers are always good, and this guy can give that effect to something else too, which is cool. Uh, I'm not going to play this guy, so I'll take Cosmic Hunger as the best card in this pack. And same thing here, I'm not going to play any of these anyways, so we'll take Valduk, because he looks cool. Ah, oh, we wield the render inert. That we will for sure play. Alright. Didn't wield that preening champion, but that was kind of a long shot anyways. Or maybe it still doesn't come back around yet. Never know. I wasn't watching closely enough to the, the pack number. Really happy with our curve so far, though. Hmm... I think I actually like this as just some card draw. Ton of early plays. Like, if we can just kind of fill out our, our mid game in this last pack, and uh, maybe another top end creature or two, we'll be in excellent shape. Unfortunately, I think we're enough heavier on blue than black that Temurat's not going to be that great. I'll just take the title tear. Top End or Island Cycling, whichever one we need. Monastery Mentor is an excellent, excellent card. But I don't think we can splash that hard. Just spits out 1-1s one when you're casting spells. Angelic Intervention is a sweet, sweet combat trick in white, too. What does Amonkhet do? Okay. I kind of like that. Mill 3, make them discard, you get the card draw. Okay. I like both of these green cards. I like the Herd Beast. Thalia and the Gitrog Monster. Don't think we're going to be able to play that, but that's a really cool card. First Strike, Death Touch, always a really strong pair. Or maybe I do try to splash it. Otherwise, we're taking another Thalid, which is still an awesome card. Or another gift of completion. We have a way to splash red, not white or green. 
we have enough two drops. I'm going to take Thalia and the Gitrog Monster. If we happen to get some Skittering Surveyors or something, maybe we try to force it. Wow, we have just so many options here, though. I drafted this in my Convoke deck and really wanted to try it out, but I don't think this is the home for it. I could take another Invasion of Rin. What does this Rona do? A Recursive 3-4 seems pretty strong to have access to, since we already have one Invasion and some more card draw in the deck. A lot of good options. I'd probably play a Doombringer in this deck on the top end. I like the Dismal Backwater, but on color Legendary, we'll take it. Another Vanquish the Weak, or we take the Deluge, which is pretty much minus three, minus three in our deck. I think I'm just going to keep taking the Vanquish the Weaks. We have a whole playset now. And another Merciless Repurposing is pretty great. I guess if we... Like, that could be our win con, is just ex you know exiling their top end stuff. Tetsuko might actually be good in this deck. One toughness, one, one, one. I guess we don't have that many one ones, but we have enough with one power or toughness, but I think we're still going to take the repurposing. It's just so strong. Wow, this pack is stacked. Another terror, another excellent two drop flyer, and two sweet removal spells. We have four Vanquish the Weeks already and two of the expensive ones, so we kind of have like these same effects already six times over. So I'm going to take the other Flying Two Drop here. But that's a tough, tough call. What's our creature count look like? Plus some uh, tokens. So Maybe I do take one Glistening Deluge just to have access to the effect. Yeah, I like it over these others. I don't think we need another Gift of Completion. I think I actually like the shape craft of all of these. We've got a number of little small flyers that we could turn into 4-3s to get through some extra damage. Ooh, an on-color battle. Yes, please. We'll snatch that one up. Uh, I'm probably not playing any of these. We'll take the 2-drop. I, I, I guess I will keep it in for now. You never know. Maybe we cut some other 2-drop over that. Gonna have to make a lot of cuts. Thalia we can definitely cut. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of those, although maybe one, because we do need some, like, a 4-4 four four could just be relevant that we need one of those. Big flyer, big top end. Ooh, we got this guy back, yeah, actually. Now that we got him, I'll cut the corruption for the, the Doombringer. Rona, invasion, champion's great, knight's great, familiar's a maybe. Deluge is definitely a maybe. These are maybes. Even Shapecraft is a maybe. State Field's a maybe. Moment of Truth is a maybe. So what if we just cut all of these? What are we looking at then? A deck? Yeah. Even got Tetsuko if we really want to go for that strategy. Oh, wow, and we got the final flourish. We're definitely playing that. Second to last pick. Top tier removal spell in black. Well, our colors were wide open. We got some awesome, awesome stuff here. Uh, we need to make two cuts. I don't think we can cut any of our top end stuff. Probably should even just cut one Vanquish the Week. We still have three, four, five, six pieces of removal. And this is the one of the more conditional ones, at least this one, we can hit up bigger targets in between the times we draw Vanquish and the times we draw Repurposing. We also have Render Inert for that kind of awkward conditional removal. And we did end up picking up one invasion that we can use it on. So we probably need to cut a, uh, a two drop here then. 
I think this knight is probably our weakest one. Or maybe even Tetsuko. Yeah, at least this one can turn into a 3-3. Tetsuko is cheeky, but not super strong, really. And more blue than black, but we ended up closer on the balance than I thought. Yeah, we'll keep Hitetsugu and Kairi as our uh, box art, and I'll see y'all in the first round. All right, y'all, let's get into round one here. We are on the draw with a okay-looking hand. Nice three drops, some removal, a little slow, but seems keepable for sure. I'm very curious to see if Render Inert actually ends up being a role player or not. It seems a little conditional. All right, drew a cool Rona here. Not the new one, but I dig the stained glass style on it. And we drew into a uh, two drop, that's pretty sweet. We'll draw a card. Um, I'm gonna ditch the render inert, I think. As much as I wanna try it out, these are both definitely better pieces of removal for us. And then we'll jam in with our flyer that comes with a body. Don't want to use all of our removal on a, a one drop. But we will definitely use it on a Geoderm. We'll go ahead and take the four this turn. At least they won't get a counter, so we can still kill it with Vanquish the Weak. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pop that off. Not like we're hurting for removal anyways. And then next turn maybe we uh, convoke in the flyer. Or maybe even just play Rona. Uh, thankfully they can't play the Rager at the moment. That's a cool card. I'm going to swing with these two first. Hmm. Seems fine, honestly. I'm just going to drop the Rona. That way we get some extra value out of our uh, removal spells. They're going with the Surveyor. I guess that will give them the land to play. And they do appear to be uh, trying to splash some stuff. Four colors so far. Okay. He might pop off a final flourish on a Daxos before he gets pretty big. Although I guess Vanquish the Weak can like always kill him, so either way, just not all that scary. Uh yeah. Hmm. I don't know why I thought I needed only three to convoke this out. Miscounted there. Uh, they're gonna give plus two, plus oh, that seems fine. Go ahead and keep them off of this for a turn at least. Might even just end up using this on the, the Rotten Tail next turn. We'll see what we draw here. Mm. 
Pretty I'm gonna good. ditch the terror. I like the flyer better. Let them block our champion here, maybe? Yep, I'm fine with that. And then we'll get out another flyer. One that we can flip over. And we've got some removal if they play another creature here. Could use another couple of lands. At least one more for the Doombringer would be nice. Oh, just keep playing Flyers. They're going to need a board wipe to stay alive here. And this guy, if we can just drop him, is just lethal. Well, cool card, but not quite going to be enough. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and pull out the first round. I'll see you all in the next one. Welcome to round two. We are on the play this time with a pretty cool looking hand. A lot of invasions without any ways to really get in on them, but both of them have solid ETB effects anyways, so it seems like a, a cool way to start. Mill three, make them discard, we get a draw, then we get three cards and only have to discard one, so it's like four card draw and a discard effect. Not bad. I don't think we have anything that can take great advantage of the mill portion of it, but except the opposite side of the battle itself. Ooh, this is a cool creature. Very nice aggressive one drop in the uh, the white decks. Um, three, four, this is gonna draw us a card though, so I think I am gonna go ahead and ditch the, yeah, we'll ditch the swamp. All right, Furnace Gremlin's a cool, aggressive red creature, too. They looks like they're pretty nice little aggressive Boros deck here, which, hmm. We still block both okay, or at least the, the one. And this one, no, I'm going to get the invasion out on curve, get us the card draw, and I feel like the... Uh, both mill and discard is going to be more impactful against a red-white deck than it will against most. Like, yeah, that that would have been one thing that our 2-1 flyers and stuff had a hard time getting around, so that's kind of nice. And we happen to mill Rona, who we can cast from our graveyard. Pretty sweet. Alright, so I think we need to shoot this thing before it gets out of control, but I really also want to drop some creatures down. I think I'm going to just play Rona first. We'll just take it slow. And we don't need either of these. At least not yet. If we draw our 6 drop removal we might be a little sad, but that's okay. That's going to make this turn a little worse for us. Yeah. It seems like the play. Ooh, now I do wish I had kept that land. That's tough. Can't do... I think we need to do the invasion just to draw the cards. Make sure we hit our lands. Or don't hit our lands. Well, that means we need to keep the title terror. I think, guess this is the weaker two drop. But not hitting a land there is really rough. 
drew three cards. Yeah, that thing's going to become a problem. I guess we need to kill that with our Vanquish the Weak. Alright, but there's two of them. Yeesh. Um... Five four flyer. I think we need to. Creature token attack. I think we need to destroy this thing and hope they don't have a thing for it here. Okay, good. This is not a great spot to be in, though. Hopefully our big flyer can take over the game. Um, we can trade here, block here. Yeah, actually, that seems fine. But if we're doing that, we may as well block here. Oh, no, but they could kill it if, they, if we do it that way. This way, we make them spend their whole turn pumping their gremlin. And it's still one short. I think we'll do that. Play our Doombringer and flip it. Liar, or we can make it Rona. Let's make it Rona. And then we'll play our big old flyer next turn. Is they're going to do that this turn? What's the other side of this do? We can sack it to copy a spell. Okay. This is a angel. Yep. We'll see what they do here. Okay. Are they going to protect their 1 2? I'm okay with that too. Or are they going to remove Rona? Ah, okay. I don't think flipping this is all that impactful at the moment from this. That leaves us with three and a card draw. I think we just play the flyer. Um, maybe the terror and the render inert. I like Render Inert getting it back first so we can snag this. But this is going to be great for the Gremlin. So I might trade off Hitetsugu to the Faith Keeper. Alright, they are all in. And I think we can I think we can stabilize from this. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll take a bit of damage in the air here, but we can kill the Strider or the Gremlin next turn here. Okay, so we want to mercilessly repurpose a furnace goblin thingy this turn. Then we'll still keep taking some damage, but we've got Vanquish the Weak for the next one. Probably this guy. Depends on if they flip it. Yeah. Let's flip this guy now, actually. Yep, gonna take the last bit of damage here. We really could use one more good removal spell instead of this thing. Definitely not caring for the render inert all that much. Ooh, he's a good draw too, though. I think this turn we're just playing this flyer, though. Next turn we go these two. Uh-oh. That's not good. Well, at least we've got a flying blocker here. Ah, excellent. Now we'll just hold lands to get Rona. got more removal in hand for whatever they play. I think that might do it there. They have a board wipe. Nope. They have some life gain. Very close match there. But we were able to absorb a lot of that aggression from a very nice red-white deck, and we were able to stabilize. I'll see you all in the next round. Welcome back to the next round. We are on the draw with another decent-looking starting hand here. One more land, and we are good to go. There it is. Sweet. I do have a little bit of uh, tricky colors in the top end stuff, but we can get there, I'm sure. We can always just cycle this if we really have to. Excellent two drop from the opponent here. But we'll get a nice flying two drop of our own, and then we'll probably snipe theirs with the Vanquish the Weak next turn. Snipe this one. This one's not a, an issue yet. And we just need to hope they don't have any backup cards to put on it. Uh, that will also do. Rats. That's a real nice play. They're going to be able to hit us for six here. Yeah, it's a, a big threat. Uh, what do we play? 
This makes three power. This is also three power. I think I like just chumping with the one drop or the one one body that's left behind. Just keep swinging in the air for now. As long as it doesn't have trample, we're not in terrible shape. We have a lot of ways to block it. Well, that's just... Yeah. I guess we'll just use the two drop as chump for now. And then make sure we can get a, a, a land here. What does the other side of this do? Whenever you cast a spell, it deals two damage to each opponent. Wow. Oh, we, okay. Or we just dead. So, that happens sometimes. Just not so curve out from the opponent there with overvalued creatures for the curve. Really impressive on their side. Let's see all in the next round. Welcome to round four. We are on the draw this time with another pretty good looking starting hand. Early drops, removal, and some card draw. Can't complain. I love this card. Um, do we just remove it? I think with this much removal, there's no reason to trade a creature into the Death Toucher. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I don't mind trading this one into it. If they want to spend their whole turn flipping it, I'll eat the three. That's alright. Sure, they'll get a card draw off of it, but not the end of the world. Alright, I think we are going to go ahead and snipe it, though. Because I don't feel like paying extra life to flip my lady right now. Next turn we can draw some cards. Oh, my. Uh, I guess we'll just play both of our two drops here. And just make sure we have enough power to threaten blocks. And we'll need to draw into... Uh... Wow, they're just playing the, the Theros deck here. Wow, seriously, the Theros deck, that's crazy. Convoke into a, another rare from their Healy. <laughs> Hopefully our rare can carry us in the sky. We need another blue. Yeah, we need to draw cards. No blue source. I think we still need to ditch the two drop here, because this at least gets us to our repurposing. And I think I'm okay to trade that aerialist off if we have to. I'd rather just hold up full blocks here and play the long game. Our 5-4 flyer, if anything, is what's going to carry us in the sky. We got a couple of copies of this two drop anyways so hopefully they spend their turn flipping Heliod and we can exi exile him next turn that'd be pretty nice yeah that's that works for me we'll have to eat the four this turn but we can at least trump the other one. It's just triple block. If they've got a trick, be really bad, maybe. This was a bad block. Anyways, they just get to kill all three for free. I don't know what I'm thinking. Just scared. Too scared for my own good. If we top deck a uh, an island, I might still play. Yeah, we'll see. I'm probably supposed to just exile Heliod first. 
They have hexproof. Protection, of course they do. Five, six, seven. We play one creature, chomp it off. Take two still, eight, nine. Ten. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Another rough one there. We had tons and tons of removal. They just... I mean, I definitely had a misplay, that's for sure, but... Heliod into... I forget what the other one is. The other... Theros rare. Good draws on their, uh, in their draft, it seems. I'll see y'all in the next round. Welcome to round five. We are on the play with an unkeepable hand. This one's a little better. Still not great, but a little better. And we'll drop a black. Well, at least our two drop is an evasive one here. I'm pretty happy with this. We can shoot off their token here if they use it. Ooh, they're just going to keep on stacking. That's a nice uh, strategy from the Phyrexian deck. Build their board state early. I guess we should do this. No. I'm going to hold up Vanquish the Week. If they try to swing a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3 three, three at us this turn, I'm going to want to be able to pop one. Oh, it has four. Right, we can't do that. Play this guy for now. Vigilance, surveil one. So yeah, the 4-4 is going to be a problem. I'm hoping we can make a, a knight and blow some stuff up next turn. That'd be nice. Yeah, they'll get their one down here. We're going to take seven. Man, these are sweet when you get to play them early. Okay, well, we can get a blocker down. Oh, they're just going to blow our knight up. That works too, I guess. Eh, yeah, at least we can get a knight out of him still. Okay, another 4-4. Four, four. Lines up really well against what we've got, although this guy will block it well. I think I have to trade here, unfortunately. I'll get another Surveil. Tons of value in their deck right now. A lot of synergy. Hmm. I think we're just going to play the uh, Doombringer, though. Gain some life back. We still have some nice removal in hand. Maybe we flip the error list next turn now that we gained a little life back. Doesn't look like it's going to be long for this world, unfortunately. I'd love for them to spend this turn developing their board a little more instead of trying to interact with mine. Not
not going to be that lucky, though. Oh, my. Double surveil. Yeah, we don't need to play either one. Not yet, at least. We can keep waiting. Maybe use our final flourish to shoot the Gargantuan if they try to remove our Doombringer. Ooh, Orphiria just needs to die. I guess that'll be where the uh, the Vanquish the Weak goes. Do they have another one of the protection spells? Excellent. Glad they don't. Come on, Flyer. Not what we're looking for. Would love to see our Hidetsugu now. Be a good time for it. Oh, that's really bad. Now they're going to get our Hidetsugu. Sure enough. Well, that, yeah, that's a thing. That's a card they printed, because that's the kind of card that we needed. <laughs> I can shoot none of these things, really. Don't see a way to come back from that, unfortunately. I really wish they'd pick. Okay, yep. I'll just keep drawing lands. Unfortunate. Just sometimes, you know. I mean, that's just a you cast it, you win kind of a card. Even if you're well behind, you could have won from that, let alone where they were at. We were just both trading on a knife's edge back and forth. So, bit of a rough end to the draft there. Nice strong start, just uh, lost to some other powerful rares, which the set is very full of. So, can't be too surprised. But I appreciate you all coming on this draft ride with me here today. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.